there, friends. Welcome back to Strange Rebel Gaming. I'm Brianna. Today, we're going to be playing through the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. I'm very excited to try this game out. It came out right after Life is Strange Before the Storm, which was the prequel to Life is Strange, and it's coming out before Life is Strange 2. I have a feeling they're connected, but that's only because the trailer for Life is Strange 2 just dropped. I haven't watched it yet. I'm going to film a reaction to it and post that, so that's going to be great. Um, so I I'm excited to, uh, to play this game. It's free on Steam, and I guess it's just a short little adventure, and I'm excited to go on this adventure with you, my friends. So... Quick shout out to our patron of the day, Grace. I'm so excited that you are now part of the Patreon community. It's been a pleasure to get to know you in the Discord, and I hope you enjoy being part of the community. And now, let's get on to the gameplay video. Enjoy. Silence, I can hear you, but I'm afraid to be near you, and I don't know. This music is a mood to begin. I'm and in I love. Don't know where to begin. Somewhere in the desert, there's a forest and an acre before us, but I don't know. Where to begin? But I don't know where to begin. Again, I lost my strength completely. Oh, be near me, tired old mare with the wind in your hair. What is this planet? I don't know, we've never been here before. Maybe we're on the edge of the universe. Hey, cool. Let's see if we can find some aliens. Hey, the ground is moving. The planet's gonna eat us. We have to get back to the ship right now. Then let's get the heck out of here. Oh no, the control panel's not working. We're stuck in the middle of nowhere. Hold on, let me just give you a hand. It's just me, Captain Spirit, who can bend all matter to his will. I did it. I still got the power. Now I just need to make a cool costume for Captain Spirit. I gotta have a cool cape to fly. Good thing I have one. Mask or no mask? Secret identity or not? I get to decide. Hmm. Oh, that's exciting. Ooh, uh, I think. Hmm. Yep, looks cool so far. Let's see. What about the armor? Uh... <sighs> oh boy.
I see. Uh, I think this hero has light armor. So cool. Should he be dark or colorful? Oh, well, that's barely a question. He should for sure be colorful. It's Captain Spirit, after all. Beware, man -troid. Watch out. Captain Spirit is ready for battle. Hello, Saturday morning. I can do anything I want today. Oh man, this is such a Life is Strange game, you guys. I can feel it, you know? Mm. I can it's do a special. training session with my power. Okay, who thought actually for a second that he was actually going to have, like, the force? I thought for a second I was like, are they doing this? And then I was like, no, I, they haven't shown the back of it. I think his left hand is controlling it. Because I, I felt like that would just be too obvious. It didn't have the intrigue, you know? Um, and only the people who, like, really have seen Life is Strange, the first one, would really get that, I feel like. Um... The fir my first thought, my very first thought is that this kid is lonely. He's got a great imagination, he's got a spirit of adventure, wonderful, but... Maybe also lonely. Mmm, chocolate. Thanks, Claire. Who's Claire? Jeez, good job, chocolate hog. <laughs> should we put our slippers on? A superhero should wear those, but they're so comfy. That's pretty offensive to superheroes and to slippers. Even superheroes need days off. Spirit cape. Press E to see power actions. Oh, heck yeah. Power up. That's awesome. I can Woo! feel the energy flow through me. I have the power. <laughs> that's awesome. Okay, that's a good start. But now it's time to build the rest of my costume. I could take over the town with this army. Or the world. Wow, I feel like I have that same shoebox. Hey, Spider Baby. I think you caught your lunch in your web. And there's a snail moving so fast. He's in one place. <laughs> Spiders are gross. They're not pets. I miss playing ball with my friends before we moved. Oh, I told you he was lonely? I was right. Hmm. This is a perfect day to watch Frozen. Last time Dad told me not to sing along so loud. Same. Chris. Breakfast. Wait your turn, Charles. Hmm. This is a perfect day to watch Frozen. Last time Dad told me not to sing along so loud. I think I pressed a button wrong. I was trying to look at the comic books. Hmm. But instead, this is a perfect day to watch Frozen. <laughs> I'm going to watch this the for the third Dad told time. Me not to sing along so loud. <laughs> comic books. There Mom we go. Mom bought me so many cool comic books. She told me never throw them away. I won't. I won't. 
We're definitely going to pick up the walkie talkie, but not yet. We're going to save that because I have a feeling I should save it. I've read this one so many times. Oh, where the th where the strange things went. You guys. Life is strange. Strange rebel gaming. Where the strange things went. Wait, 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 wait. wait. I want to look I've it. I've read this one so many times. I miss Hal. He feels like he's so far away, even though he lives on the other side of town. Oh. Chris, thanks for letting me read this. Now it's my turn to give you a book to read. Your pal, Hal. Captain Spear doesn't eat weapons. But just in case. Always good to be prepared. Why can't I scroll? Oh, I see. Ugh. I can't wait to go back inside the flying fortress. I ran out of time. <laughs> Awkward. I can't wait to go back inside the flying fortress. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm still getting my bearings in this game. Okay. I, I actually do like the use of the scroll bar and the space bar. I, I do like how it's set up. It just takes me a second to get used to it. Are you ready for the ultimate battle of good versus evil? Well, we're definitely gonna play with it. You can't win this battle, Noctarius. It's already over, Power Bear. Cool. Don't let Mantroid control you! Nobody controls me! Mantroid is my leader! And he wants you to die! <laughs> Give up now! We don't have to fight! You're not the boss of me, Power Bear! You have amazing powers. Why don't you join our team? Join Captain Spirit? Are you serious? He's my enemy! Only because Mantroid brainwashed you. You can help the world with us. Liar! Where were you and Captain Spirit when Mantroid saved my life? Huh? Good guy? <laughs> I'm sorry, Nocturus. We want to be there for everybody. You're the enemy. Now take this! <laughs> ah. Ooh! <laughs> Ow, my back! How? How did you do this? I can't move! Captain Spirit! Captain Spirit! Please come to my aid! I can't defeat Nocturius on my own! I can't! Captain Spirit! Release him, Power Bear. Oh, yeah. Captain Spirit's got your back, loser. He decided to spare you. That's a real hero. Now go back to your master. Me and Troy will get his revenge for me. <sighs> Thank you for keeping me from the dark side, Captain. That's real sweet. Chris, I mean now. I heard you, jeez. <laughs> Do not make me come It is over time here. for my secret tattoo. Only my team will know what it means. I guess I have to hurry. Dad's getting mad, but I like to take my time. I can take the pain. <laughs> At least I don't have to use any needles. That would be an intense kid's tattoo. I'm kind of afraid that I'm not going to have Sorry, enough time to do everything. Too cute to fight evil. So now I feel like I can't do everything. I just have to do the stuff that I really need to do right away. <laughs> Uh, 
Air ball. You didn't even hit the, the backboard. Rip. Rip a doodle. I swear I'm gonna kick your ass if I have to come get you. God damn it. Ugh. He's getting really upset. You should never tell a child that. Oh, I ran out of time! You guys! If I don't go, Dad's gonna be super mad. No! I needed to look at all of the things! Ah, that's the worst! Lame. Hey, Chris, you better come to breakfast when I holler at you, or else we're gonna have a problem. But I... Don't. This isn't a hotel, buddy. I get things to do. Beer? <sighs> What'd you expect? A waffle? I just like sunny side up. Like mom used to make. <sighs> yeah. Me too. But that's not gonna happen. I know. You can't keep saying Mom used to do this or that. I know more than anybody, Chris. I know. Okay? Yeah. Okay. That's his brother, isn't it? It's not his dad. Wait, he did say dad. He specifically said dad's gonna get mad. Should I point it out? Oh, I'm gonna be that kid. You're drinking beer before you eat? Well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's game day. Dads are allowed to drink early. Hey, I don't need a lecture from my son. Thanks. I, I don't drink that much. That's a guilty conscience if I have ever hey, seen one. This fucking town. Go to church like all these assholes? Sorry. Don't swear, okay? I don't. Superheroes don't swear. <laughs> Looks like I'm off the team. Nah. You're cool. <laughs> like a rebel. Hey, is your, uh, your arm okay? Looks better. Anybody uh, ask you about it or uh, say anything at all? No, it's fine. I worked it out. I, I just want to make sure you're okay, buddy. So, so you must be excited for Christmas. I'm always excited for Christmas. Intent? I was hoping Santa might maybe get me a new console since mine is broken. Then Santa needs to get me a new job. <laughs> has to be a console. A basketball costs ten bucks. Okay. Oh, since it's Saturday, are we going to get a Christmas tree? You said we could get a real pine. Yes, I did, and yes, we are. But I just want to watch the game before we go, okay? But you always fall asleep. <laughs> I won't today. <laughs> and if I do, just wake me up and we'll go. Promise. OK. 
Okay. You promise? I do. <gasps> Pinky swear. That's how you know. Also, hey, I like how it says- Let's take your weekend. Perfect weather outside for you to play. Whatever. You're free. <laughs> Come grab me later. I like how their milk is labeled full fat. <laughs> oh, buddy. Don't do it. No, you're gonna fall asleep. That's a problem. That is a problem. Okay, what would Captain Spirit do? So we should definitely do the dishes because even though we're a sassy kid, we're a good kid. Also, it's one of mega clean. It's one of these. Crap. Jesus, what was that? What the hell are you doing in there? Oh, This poor kid just can't catch a break. He was just trying to do the right thing, and then dad was all, oh, yeah. Yeah, I day drink and I get angry at you and talk about kicking your ass. Hmm. I don't like this. Maybe I could cook something for dad. Oh, he's so nice. Ah. Uh. Ew, sticky beer cans. Oh, we're gonna pulverize them just to do the action. I have a feeling this is not gonna go well and we're gonna cut our hand, but we'll see. The beer can monster cannot be. Seriously? <laughs> All right. Ooh, we should definitely add ice cream to the grocery list. No doubt. Let's see. What do we need? I'm surprised this family keeps a grocery list. That's a very organized thing for this very disorganized man. Look at this postcard. I've never seen a beaver around here. Get it? The best damn town in America? Do you get it? Because it's, it's a beaver. And they make dams. Yes. Let's open the fridge. Why not? Because we can. And you know, in this game, that's all I do. Better drink that magic milk. I can. I mean, you just had a whole glass, but okay. Let's drink some more. Full fat milk. Get some meat on those bones. Mm -mm, I feel the power. That was adorable. He also sings when he's happy. Who else do I know does that? It's early, but I can make dad some mac and cheese. Oh, and he won't eat anything. What the fuck is this? Open your goddamn eyes. That was a goddamn carry. Oh, vomit. Why would someone put their vomit in the fridge? I'm kidding. He's saying vomit because the takeout is old and gross. Definitely throw that out, though. Wait, why are we putting that? Oh, because the other one was recycling. Definitely power trash it. <laughs> Zap! The awful green things are flushed into space. Wow, we're the best superhero that there is. Let's cook some mac and cheese for dad, shall we?
beginning countdown to launch. Five, four, three, two, one. Right, big. <laughs> this is interesting. I like how it's actually like two real life minutes. Oh, we're just gonna leave the out eggs out on the counter? Okay. Are we gonna take the garage key? Nah. Boring. Local police face more protests and shooting deaths. Small riots and protests have continued to mount one month after the unexplained deaths of a local man and a police officer. An official statement from the police has not been released, but sources say the, main, the man appeared to have been shot by the officer, while the latter's cause of death remains unknown. The Seattle Police Department have been accused by civil rights groups of mishandling the incident, which led to the public protests and rioting. Oh, that's interesting. That makes me real nervous. Because if that's what this is going to be about, I'm going to be a little triggered. Oh boy. You done yet? Nope. Not done yet. Okay. Oh boy. Whoo! Oh yeah. That's how you dominate. That's it. And that is how... Dear Charles, we just wanted to let you know how much... All right, I'm not reading this hand, handwritten. Okay. Dear Charles, we just wanted to let you know how much we both care about you and Chris. I know life has been hard since Emily left us, but we're still a family and we intend to keep it that way. That includes making sure Chris is getting all the care he needs at this fragile age. We've always been honest with you, so please take our concern as a sign of our love the way you loved our beautiful daughter. We also heard through a friend that you were in some kind of bar fight, but the police declined to arrest you. Thank God. Please take care of yourself. Self. To cut to the chase, we want to help so that we hope you will allow us to take care of Chris for the next year or as long as you need and consider joining a support group. Grandparents are not happy. I wouldn't be either, honestly. Hmm. I'm just too busy to care if I go online. There's my hot dog man. <laughs> hot dog man! I love hot dog man. He's so cute. Join the revolution. Want to play with hot dog man? Take a picture of your kid covered with mustard and send it over. Ew. Lots of hot dog man exclusive toys to win every month. I would take a picture of myself covered in mustard for hot dog man. I'm just putting it out there. I would do it. I can't see dad selling homes. Uh, get real about your future. Become a realtor today. Doubt it. Whoa, is he getting us tickets again? Best dad ever. Portland Hero Con. Oh, how exciting. That would be a blast being a freight hopper. Choo choo. Two all employees recently, our Beaver Creek field offices have received multiple complaints about unruly teenage freight, freight hoppers in the area. They have a minor reputation around the Northwest, so please do not let them provoke you into a confrontation. Instead, if you encounter any problem or situation involving this group, please report it immediately to your supervisor. If you have any questions, please contact me by email or during office hours. Thank you, Mike Stevenson. I guess that's who dad works for? Oh, those are dad's pages. Stat world. <laughs> For all his players, I suppose. I'm sure I can beat my high score on Mustard Party 2. Mini game! Mini game! Ah, I need a pin code. What is it? Lame. I don't know the pin code. Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool story, Dad. Bava's Pizzeria, Reynolds, Dad's cell phone. Oh, 
Oh, we could take out the recycling. Good kiddo. Oh, I hate that beer can smell. Although at no point should this child feel obligated to take care of the house because his dad's a deadbeat. Hey, can you get that? Okay, I can't. I can't get the microwave and the phone at the same time. Hello? Good morning, sir. How are you this glorious day? Um, okay. Hey, who is that? Who keeps calling? I don't know. Uh, who is this? Thank you for asking, young man. My name is Derek, and I'm a proud member of the Universal Uprising Church. I'd love to tell you and your family about Jesus, our righteous Lord and Savior. Our church just wants you and your loved ones to share the Holy Spirit. Spirit? Um, we're just watching the game. Well, always remember that our Lord is watching out for you. By the way, is your mother or father available to speak? Well, I have to ask first. Chris, who the hell are you talking to? Nobody, Dad. Jesus is... Why is the microwave beeping, kiddo? Did you use it? Careful, it's hot! Snack time! Did you make that for me? You wouldn't get up during the game, so I thought you could eat out here. I can nuke this mac and cheese in no time. Not bad. Not bad at all. You better start cooking from now on, buddy. Mom made the best mac and cheese. I mean... She did make the best mac and cheese. But this is the perfect comfort food for a winter game day. Thanks. Well, taste it first. Best mac and cheese ever. He doesn't eat. He just drinks. All right. His dad needs uh, a little bit of help, huh? Maybe more than a little bit. I wish I could have gone on a hike with mom. This has to be mom's. She liked art. I wonder why dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. Probably because he's depressed. Sorry, Pop. It's war. Oh, I don't want to do this. No. Hmm. Let's check this out. Ooh, that looks scary. I should read that. No, you oh. shouldn't. That's scary. No. Stole the ball from that piece of shit. You suck! I don't like it. I don't wanna, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Headshot! Ow! Oh, cheap shot! I'm going down! You can't kill the zombie jock! No way! That was a headshot! <laughs> I am... A super zombie! Well, I'm a superhero! Can't argue with that. Zombie down. Captain Spirit strikes back. Alright, that wasn't bad. I thought he was gonna get all upset, but that wasn't bad. If I could go back in time, I'd go see him play. He looks so different in his basketball outfit. That was so popular. Dad never smiles like that anymore. Wow. 
why does he drink that if it just makes him mad? I see what you're doing. Stop it. I didn't do anything. It's just getting so sad. Oh man. I'm frozen. I must build a fire. Okay. Man, I tell you what, if that was my heating system and there was snow outside, Good you would not on. catch me in a t-shirt and yeah. one pair of socks. All right. Nebbin. Bin. He thinks he's awesome. And he is. What happens if I walk in front of the TV? Nothing. A real dad would be like, you make a better door than a window. Dad, I found your car keys. That's where they went. Yeah. That's where I had them on me, but they must have fell out of my pocket last night. Just put them in the bowl. Cool? Yeah. I don't think Dad reads these. I think he just takes them from work. Boxcar, the train traveler's journal. The railroad earth beat poets on a San Francisco train. Random. Random magazine. Aww! Fun! Okay, these are like objectives. So... Keep my eyes on Mantroid and his supervillains. Unlock Dad's phone. Can't let the Water Eater defeat me this time. Captain Spirit's treasure. I need to assemble two parts of the map. Looks like Snowmancer wants to destroy our town. Target skills on beer cans. All right, all right. Okay, I like it. I could sit on the couch and watch the game with Dad. You know me, I me. really like to sit in Life is Strange games. But it sounds like the game is over? He's writing now? We're just gonna sit here. No music. No... Thoughtfulness. <laughs> He's bored. I get it. I'm bored too. Alright, let's ask Dad what he's writing. Maybe Dad would want to watch an anime instead. Hey. Well. Hey, sports fan. You up for watching the game with your favorite MVP? Sure, Dad. How's the game going? We're kicking their asses, for once. I like it. Cool. I like it when the good guys win. Yep. Me too. I get confused by basketball rules. It's like math. You know, but fun. You just have to start watching It's like more math, games. but fun. Maybe we can get a basketball video game and play together. That's not exactly how you learn to play, but it's a start. You won a lot of games, didn't you? That's what those trophies say. That's so cool that you were a sports hero. Huh. Yeah, it was. Everybody knew my name. I wish I could have seen you in action. Here you go. <laughs> those were the good old days. Man, I hate even saying that. But they really were. Did you and Mom watch a lot of games? Oh, uh, 
Actually, she wasn't a big sports fan. Really? Funny, huh? But she liked to sit next to me and read. You got that from her, for sure. That's cool. What did I get from you? Hmm. Well, my hero skills, right? Okay. I'll see you later. <laughs> okay. I'll let you watch the game now. Yeah, fine. Just get me when it's over. Uh, get ready for the tree. Can we get one that's like 10 feet tall? <laughs> Only if you cut one down, Viking. We might need a bigger castle, too. It's so weird. It's like, he's, he's like, he's like not a terrible dad. He's just a little broken. He's just a lot broken and he just needs help, but he's not a bad dad. I mean, and of course they do that. Of course they put you in this position where you're like, I hate him. I love him. He's a bad dad. He's a good dad. What do I do? I don't know how I feel. It's life is strange. That's how it works. That's how this game works. You just never know how you feel. Ah. I wonder when I can start to shave. Do superheroes shave? That's a great question, young sir. Do they? You can't see in the mirror. Stepping stool. I knew that's what we were going to grab. Welcome to W-H-E-R-O. Today we are honored to have an interview with the world's most awesome superhero, Captain Spirit. Hello, Beaver Creek. Captain Spirit, when do you think you will defeat Mantroid? Mantroid is a bully and a coward. He can't hide, but he can run. We heard reports that he is putting together a team of supervillains. Do you have any message for them? I love this. My message is that Mantroid will never win, and I will find you, and I will crush you. Yes, that is what this town wants to hear. That's my job. And that's why we love you. Can you tell us who your superheroes are? My parents are my biggest heroes. I bet they're happy to hear that. Can you give us a hint about how you discovered your epic powers? No. <laughs> okay, do you have any final <laughs> words for your audience? Be nice and always fight for the good team. Thank you, Captain Spirit, for being our hero. And now back to W-H-E-R-O News. I'm obsessed with that. I gotta be honest, when I was about this age, I did the same dang thing in the mirror and it was like my big interview and I was like a famous actress and I was in the bathroom and doing my interview and then I just hear clapping on the other side of the door. I had totally been found out. It was so embarrassing. It was one of my most embarrassing moments of my childhood. And I look back on it now and I'm like, that was adorable. But my dad totally heard me doing an interview for myself. Some good memories. This game brought up some good mems. Geez, where's the heat? I bet the water eater's sleeping again. I guess we gotta go find that water eater. Why did I put stickers I on the toilet? Let me put these stickers here. Maybe he <gasps> likes them too. Maybe he does. I never get tired of hot dog man. Never. The handsome hot dog man. Alone and forgotten. Is that it? The end of hot dog man? Oh my gosh. Man. I love this issue. Oh, he's walking alone along the street. Fear, a car comes by, splashes him. Oh, he's so sad. Cries, honk honk. Car pulls up, it's Mustard Person. Hot Dog Man is like, me? And then they drive off into the rain together. 
I love it. I love that so much. Oh, there's more. We should have <gasps> draw like this. Look at them. And then they're like Nyan Cat with like rainbows shooting out of their car and they're laughing. <laughs> Whack. Oh no. They've been found out. Evil mustard. Oh no. Not. He squirted mustard out of his tube in between his legs. That's really weird. I'm gonna crush you like peanuts. It's over. Wait. So you are mustard too. I like mustard. I'm going to empty you big time. Wow. <laughs> that's a uh, that's a good comic right there. <laughs> oh man. That's great. Today, Nemo. Nemo. That's a nice name. Ooh, now I can use that makeup from Halloween. Draw a mask, draw a mask. Ooh, now I can use that makeup from Halloween. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Look at us go. Mask time. That's the way I like it. One more piece and I'm almost done. One more piece. Can we go back into the bedroom and do the things we didn't do before? We already did this. We didn't do walkie-talkie yet. We didn't look at our drawing yet. Watch out, super villains. Today I make my own superhero costume. Okay. Man, I wanted to go to that. But Dad had to watch the playoffs. Every superhero team Needs a super villain team. I like it. So glad I did my hang with Shawmark already. Miss Stroud's pretty nice, and she likes my stories. Aww. Well, I like her also. The secret treasure is buried out there in the wild. Now, I have to locate the second part of the map. Hell Volcano, Forest of Trolls, Sea of Darkness, Alien Fields, Green Walker Man, Space Vessel, Home Base 2, Flying Fortress, The Maze of Doom, Castle Fireness, Dan Te Terry Bull Terrible, Dan the Terry Terrible, Dan the Terrible Terrible, I don't know, Evil Dog of Satan, The Uni. Unar wall. All right, lonely desert. Okay, so that's kind of a quirky map. I don't really know what that's about. Do we look at Henry yet? Sorry, you're too. Yeah, we did. By evil. I hope I can draw as good as mom someday. Oh. Oh, sad. Chris, since you're going to be my own superhero, this book is a great start. You can be everything I am not. I can't wait to spend the rest of my life watching you save the world. Love forever, super mom. <laughs> it's so sad. Oh, man. This isn't greedy, right, Santa? Plus, Dad will love that I want basketball lessons. Dear Santa Claus, I think I have been good. Here is my list for Christmas. Smiley face heart, smiley face heart. Hot dog adventures for the play box. Play box console, black. Can't have any other color. Drawing paper and pens, color, stricken out. Why are you stricken out? Oh, because the number four has been stricken out and then it's replaced by basketball lessons. Sincerely, Chris. What kind of a Viking would I be? That's a great question. I also wonder that. What kind of a Viking would I be? Dad took away my firecrackers when I blew up the garbage can last year. Shocking. Hmm. I wonder where he hid them. 
Dad said he was going to fix that last month. Oh, it's broken. Right. At least the forest warrior protect me from the snow ghost. Ooh, the shark stinger is looking for victims. Look out! Here comes the evil car! Ah! <laughs> That pedestrian better get out of the way. That was your last ride, Shark Stinger. Yes, Captain Spirit saved us. You'll never run over anybody again. Love it. Only my brain waves can activate the monitor. Then we will. Yes. Yes, I was a dog. <laughs> It was a fun birthday party at Pizza Arcade. Aww. I hope it'll be cool next year. Best player of the day, Chris. Then there's Hal. Mm. Wow, Chris is the best. All right, is that everything there is to do in this bedroom? Looks like we've pretty much looked at everything except the walkie-talkie. That sounds about right. I don't know why I did that, but I did. Who are we calling? This is Chris to the Flying Fortress. Come in, come in. <laughs> Roger, I'm here. I hope so, Sky Pirate. What do you see up there? Have you spotted Snowmancer? Not yet. It's hard because of the storm. This is perfect cover for a Snowmancer sneak attack. I sharp. Keep me posted. Yes, sir. Roger that. Keep those eyes sharp. Thanks, Sky Pirate. Over and out. I know you're out there, Snowmancer. All right. I feel pretty good about that room. We've been in there. Let's go check out Dad's room. I'm glad Dad kept Mom's perfume. It smells just like her. Oh. I hope I get to go practice with Dad again this summer. That does not look good. Got ourselves a key, don't we? What on earth for? Yes! I don't know. Light on. Aww. I know this drawing sucks, but it's cool that Dad put it here. That was me, as a kid. Like, I know this sucks, you don't have to put it up, but like, thanks, parents. <laughs> Yuck, his pants need to be washed. I swear, <sighs> Dad wears them every day. I'm gonna do the laundry too? I'm just a kid. Only the new magnetic waves of my cleaning machine can save these pants now. Wow. I'm too old to be measured now, right? Oh, you're never too old until you stop growing. Careful of booby traps. Always. Dad actually got me the new play box. Yes! No way. Best Christmas ever! Dad used to always talk about this basketball. Mm. Dad 
never told me he had a new friend. Oh boy. Here we go. Charles, I'm sorry about what I said the other night. I was just pissed you don't seem to listen to me when I express myself. My job can be very stressful and I know it stresses you out, so that's why I want to be more involved in your world. I hate to see you get so sad when you make me so happy. I'm still waiting to meet your son and I get the feeling you might be ashamed of me. Don't be angry. I hope I'm wrong, but you do say things that hurt my feelings. I care for you in so many ways and just had to express myself so you understand. I think about you and me together, so I hope you know this message comes from a place of love in my heart. Your tiny dancer, Audra. I don't know about that. Why does your tiny dancer sound familiar? Like, I know it's from a song, but isn't there another time your tiny dancer is referenced in this game? Maybe in regards to Frank? Oh, that's hard. Now I can't remember. Wow, Dad had fans when he was playing in high school. Dear Charles Erickson, I am 12 and want to play pro basketball one day. My parents take me to all your games. You are great on the court. The last game was the best I've ever seen. I hope you are drafted for an NBA team. Thank you and see you at the next game. Todd Hamill. That's scary. Is alcohol drinking your life away? You're not alone. We can help. Contact Overcoming Alcoholism. Discount rates available. So we move because dad couldn't pay for house that sucks dear mr and mrs erickson our records show you have missed your third mortgage payment despite repeated extensions and assurances while we understand and sympathize with every homeowner situation our office feels we have been more than fair in granting you multiple extensions if you do not pay this mortgage by the due date we'll be forced to foreclose on the property we hope to resolve this issue with you soon best clamp properties dad got fired that's when he started working for the railroad Man. Oof. Although our faculty respects your legacy and dedication, you have been reprimanded more than twice for your aggressive behavior. And with this recent incident involving beer cans in the pool after hours, we feel our only option is to terminate your contract immediately. We are sorry for this situation, but in the interests of safety, we know you understand that our students always come first. We've included a pamphlet with information on resources for alcohol related issues and hope you find future success. Sincerely, Sunny Creek School District. Yikes. So it's just kind of been like one big fall for this poor guy. Sad. Can I take that key back though? No, it doesn't look like I can. All right, what's next? Here we go. This is what I like. This gets me I so. Mom's old records. 
This gets me so excited for Life is Strange 2. Because it it says that they haven't gotten rid of that amazing, amazing part of Life is Strange 1, which is just the like, let's sit in this moment for a minute. Let's have some camera angles that make you think about some of the things that we've put in the game. Like in this particular moment, you know, I think he like looked outside. He looked at the fraying torn wallpaper as a reflection of how far they've fallen. He looked at his height. You know, he was seven years old last time he got measured. Um, things have changed now. And I think that's so interesting. I love that they do that. I love that they take these moments to like set your mood if you the gamer choose to take these moments and I love that it's optional because if you're not the type of gamer that enjoys that great you don't have to but I get to and I love that oh, I love it if I smoke in the fortress I'm breaking the superhero code oh what kind of kiddo are we about to be? This is such an interesting choice. On one hand, we're a superhero and I, I want to do the right thing because we're the good guys. On the other hand, me, the gamer, is curious to see what will happen if we steal one. On the other hand, true to the story, I don't think this kid would probably... Well, and that's hard because... My parents smoked, therefore I thought that smoking was gross and I would never do it. I have never done it. But statistically, if your parents smoke, you are more likely to smoke. So realistic to the story, does this kid steal a cigarette? I don't know. I think he does. Dad loves his cancer sticks. Right? I also Gross. think they're cancer sticks. I wonder what they taste like. Let's give it a shot. I don't know, man. I feel like this kid has taken the moral high ground for a lot of this game so far, so I'm really interested about taking Shoot. that choice. That's way too high for me to reach. Well, I gotta get in there. Gotta go get my step stool. Oh, I could use this to make some cool armor. Do we want to be stealing his sports stuff, or is that going to make him feel uncomfortable? We're doing it anyway. We're a rebellious kid. <laughs> yes, this will totally protect me from Mantroid. Oh, we My took the sports tape. Ready. Okay, cool. After I get some paint. Paint? We already did our face paint. Dad was so angry at the police. Dear Captain Lee, since you have not answered my calls or emails, I'm sending this letter as more proof that I have been more diligent about this case than you or the police department. It's your duty to keep the citizens and taxpayers safe. I hope to hear back soon or you will be hearing from me. Sincerely, Charles. I remember Dad yelling on the phone a lot. Mr. Charles Erickson, although I appreciate what you've gone through the last few years, I'm afraid I have exhausted all my resources in regards to this difficult investigation. If you wish to discuss the matter without another angry message, I am always available to talk. In respect to your case, I am only invoicing you for one month's work. Jeez. Dad wrote a lot of letters. Dear Mr. Erickson, we regret to inform you that street surveillance data is not available for Asteroid Drive and Mantle Street, nor to the general public unless accompanied by an official state or federal investigation, so we cannot help you with your inquiry. We hope your local Oregon law enforcement will assist you further. Ooh. This is making me nervous. What happened to mom? All right, I think that's it for this. We already lied down on the bed. 
We can turn off the lamp. Because why not? Oh. I've never seen Dad get that mad. It really scares me. Okay, so what do we do next? We didn't find Dad's pin. Maybe we just have to guess it based on... Do we have, like, the kid's birth date? Or... Do we have... Let's go look one more time. In here. Eleven months in 2008. Five years in 2012. So he would have been born in... 2007. <clears throat> so we can try 2007 as a pin code. Can we see that this picture has been removed? We can't, like... Okay. <clears throat> Let's give 2007 a shot and see how that goes. Okay. Ooh, now I feel like I have to go back and look at all the stuff all over again, trying to figure it out. Photo, books, letter, cell phone, laptop maybe? There's my hot dog man. I can't see dad's so cell Whoa, is he getting us tickets again? That would be a blast being... Oh, those are Dad's pages. Yeah, there's no numbers on this sheet, so we'll put a pin in that for now. <laughs> That's not what I wanted. I wanted to go back. That should be enough. Cookie dough ice cream, huh? All right, so then... We gotta put the keys in the bowl. Let's put the dad's pants in the washing machine. Now you will learn your lesson and stay clean. Dad doesn't want to set up Christmas decorations yet. Makes him think of mom. Um, dark door? Is this where the water eater is? Let's find out. Ha 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 ha. I think I'm not alone. I guess we're in his uh, imagination now. Getting closer. I knew it was the water eater. You can do it, Captain Spirit.
Consider it tamed. Yes. All right. Well, that wasn't too hard. I've tamed the water beast. Woohoo! I hope I set this right. We completed a task. All right. The water eater is going back to work. All right, we gotta still find more super villains around the house. Two parts of the map. Gotta get my full costume on. He said paint is what we need. Okay. I wonder if there's paint in our room? Oh, is it? Oh, there we go. There's another villain. Dinosaur land is open for business. Eat everybody! He fell asleep. I am Mar T Rex, and you are my lunch. Roar! Of course he fell asleep. Alright. Looks like a few more toys to play with. Dad loves his dad notebooks. Open it up. Oh, doesn't look like we can. He always falls asleep. Okay, we gotta get paint. Pretty sure we looked at everything here. Could go back in Dad's room and see some dates for the pin code. Drawing flyer, Mantroid's team. We're looking for. Oh, this is actually pretty helpful because Every superhero team needs a supervillain team. We played with the bear and the alien. We played with the horns guy. We found the T-Rex. We still need to find some of these. Oh, we played with shark guy. So we still need to find some of those guys. So we need to find this pirate bear. Whatever. Robot? And hot dog man. And then that'll fill in our map. All right. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Oh yeah! Where were the firecrackers? We gotta find those. Hmm, where should we go next? We gotta practice the, uh... Dad never smiles like that anymore. Ooh, I wonder if 2005 is our date. Dad was so popular. Could have been 2005. We tried 2007. Oh, was it? Oh no, his number is seven. All right, let's try 2005. Dang it, I had a good feeling about that one. All right, so what next? Should we head outside? Oh, use the phone, what for? Who should we call? Pizza delivery? Who's Reynolds? Is that the neighbors? Let's find out. Come on. Hello? Mrs. Reynolds? H Hello? Okay. All right, they're clearly snoring on the other end That'd of the line. Weird. What about pizza delivery? Let's try to get pizza delivered. I they'll probably say like you're just a kid, we can't do it, but let's just try. Ooh, pizza. 
Buongiorno. Bava's Pizzeria is closed, but if you can wait, our business hours are Tuesday through Sunday, 11 a.m. Okay. to 10 p.m. If you would like to leave a message for Augusto, please do so. Leave a message. Pizza? Ciao. Oh. All right. So what if we did this? Let's put our car keys away because we're a good kid. Go us. Let's try this. Now go pick it up. I'm sure I can beat my high score on Mustard Party too. What? Oh, come on. That was a genius plan. You call the phone, you answer it, then when you hang up, the phone is unlocked. That was genius. That would have worked. Man, what a bummer. Let's look at these phone numbers. Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Oh yeah, <laughs> cool story, Dad. I don't know. All right. Let's go out. Boring. We already read that. Okay, let's go out this way towards the recycling. I'm a great kid. Extra bonus points unlocked. I guess we can't go up those stairs. Seek the magic key to unlock the portal to another dimension. Dude, the freaking key should be inside the house. Oh, take the garage keys. That's definitely something I should have done. Yeah. Wait, what if I just took the car keys and drove away? It sucks we don't use this landing very much. So cool. I can't go anywhere without the keys. Well, you shouldn't be driving it anyway, kiddo, but I can look inside. Oh, look at all those beer boxes. Yeah, that's great. All right. Let's explore around a little bit more. I gotta find all of the super villains. Creepy tree, uh-huh. Oh my god, the lake demon is rising. <laughs> it's cute. Guess that lake is frozen over, huh? All right. Oh, Snowmancer, this is sad. You used to be a good enemy. Look at you now. 
How are you supposed to train me to fight Mandroid like that? What can we do? <laughs> well done. Now blow him up! Ew, he has cigarette butts for hair. Got him. <laughs> Did that count? Now the snowmancer is ready for battle. That was so dramatic and then so antic. Yep, we got him. All right, so now we need to get this pirate bear and whoever counts as this guy. Although I thought that was us. I thought that was us. There's a frozen bucket in that frozen lake. Dad won't fix this one because it's too dangerous to fix. Uh... That's nonsense. Even if it is just a board on a rope, it's still swing worthy. You don't need two strings to... two ropes to swing from. You just need one. Everyone knows that you stand on it and then swing standing up. It's a classic swing move. <laughs> Here we go. <clears throat> I always wanted a treehouse as a kid. It's not really a thing in California. We don't really have trees for it. <gasps> Sweet! Sky Pirate. What's the situation since your last report? Did the storm cause any damage? No, Captain. The magnetic field protected us from any harm. We're lucky to have you. Keep up your good work. That's cute. All right, we did it! Woo! We completed the task of playing with all the toys. I like it. Open the secret stash. Let's see what's inside. Uh, open sesame. I loved watching mom draw her comics. Oh, what are you cooking me, my sweet Valentine? Your favorite dish, pizza. Happy Valentine's Day, sweetheart. Oh. Pizza shouldn't be her favorite food. It's not a real meal. It's just cheese bread with tomato sauce. Don't be mad. That's just my opinion. These are my favorite baseball <clears throat> players. Even if I don't understand the stats. Noah Raymond, John McClanahan, and Scott Cicero. Maybe I can use this to read the map. Yeah, we're gonna have to. Let's take it. Now I can use this to reveal the full map to my next adventure. Perf. I like it. Harry did say mean things about Dad, but I can't let him see this. Dear Mr. Erickson, I wanted to let you know that your son Chris got into a small fight with my son Harry Sorber and his friends after school this week. Chris claimed they were saying inappropriate things about you, but Harry is not that kind of child and only knows you through me. As you might know, Harry is an honor student and a decorated Boy Scout. Maybe you should talk to Chris about his behavior. If this bullying continues, I will be forced to speak to his school. Sincerely, Mr. Brett Sorber. I already don't like you, Mr. Sorber. This is my worst report card. I'm doing better now. 
Oh, how do you get a D in physical education? Also, who calls it physical education? It's P.E. Everyone knows that. All right, that's a pretty good secret stash, in my opinion. Dad keeps telling me this is a girl's doll. So what? Yeah, She's so what? Ice queen. That's right, you can all suck it. You can play with toys no matter what. That's Noctarius' son. He looks like his dad. <laughs> Can we play with them? No, because we already played with all the toys. Ooh, this isn't the first time I've smoked a cigarette! Oh, dang! This child is rebellious! Wait, didn't he just say, I wonder what it tastes like? What's he doing up here with this? Slow, like dad. Oh no, oh no, kiddo. Yeah, that's what I suspected. Yeah. Stop. Yeah. Gross. Regret that. All right, let's be a lookout. Let's do our sitting. I'm ready. I want to get this whole soundtrack. I mean, that's how I feel right now. But after Life is Strange, I didn't want to get the soundtrack because I never wanted to hear those sad, sad songs again. Because <laughs> they made me sad to hear them. All right, so this looks like the neighbor's house, but I don't think we can go over there. They are decorating for Christmas. Wow, we're leaving tracks in the snow! Man, I love it when games do that, especially when games you don't expect do that. Enter. Da -na 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 -da -da -da. The maze of doom. Captain Spirit heard about the secret treasure inside. Okay. I might regret this. Kinda creepy in there. is this maze? How many times can I go left?
All right, this is not getting me farther ahead. So I'll guess I'll go right. know what to think of this. It's we're not going anywhere. I guess that's why they give you, you the look at that map again. What map? I guess that's why they give you the option to leave because if you don't choose the right path, you're just stuck in here. All right. It's fine. Uh what map? Let's take a look at our map. We have our decoder, but that's not a map. So I think we have to go inside our room to look at the actual map. Okay. All right. Hmm. Maybe the kids who lived here before didn't like it. Sassy children. They're everywhere. No way. For family fun, come play with your gun. Clean Harry's Gun Range Holiday Sale and Show. Don't know about that. Why'd we put it back? Why didn't we bring it in? All right, let's go check the room. Oh, I guess I wonder. Oh, let's set up the range. Okay, cool. Nothing can escape the deadly aim of the beer hunter. And then I think we have to go get our nerf gun. Oh, we're gonna snowball it. Nice. Ah, oh, you're gonna make me do it? Ugh. Yeah! I got a spare. <gasps> nice! Blam! Recycle that. All right, we did it! Good job, us. All right, now we go inside, check the map on our bedroom wall. And then we'll grab the car keys and the garage keys, and we'll go from there. Chris, these are the most important numbers for you on this list. Take mine. All right, we've just collected all the keys in the house. <laughs> we've already been in here. Are you done? No, you're still washing. That's fair. He said he still needs paint. Must be in the garage. Okay, let's take a look at our map here. Ooh, let's Time decipher it. Put these pieces together. All right. Okay, we have one, three, and four. We're missing a two. However, I have to place it right. Well, that makes the one 
line up. That makes the three and the four line up. That doesn't make anything else really line up. Wait. One, two. There's already ones and twos. I am having a hard time with this. I don't know where this goes. The number, if I could get the three and the four to line up in their circles and also the two to line up in its circle, that would make me feel better because I think the that's... The treasure map is not secret anymore. It's mine. I knew it had to do something about putting the numbers in the circles because the one is circled. All right, we got it. Now I was trying to figure out what the lines we're trying to do and it's creating arrows so i get it now so the maze of doom however looks like first you go left then you go right then you go left then you go left that's got to be it for the maze of doom all right so left right left left we'll give that a shot we'll see how that goes Left, right, left, left. All right. Meanwhile, we also have all our car keys. So, have I been in there? Yeah, it's dad's room. Okay, yeah. All right. Out the front door we go. Left, right, left, left. Okay. Maze of Doom, here we go. What are we going to find? I'm excited to find out. Enter the maze of doom. All right. Left. Right. It is awfully slow. Left. All right, this is the moment of truth. Did we decipher it correctly? Left. Yeah, it's a different animation. That's how you know. Woo! What did we get? Forgive you, mother. I can hear you, and I long to be near you. But every road leads to an end. Yes, every road leads to an end. Your apparition passes through me in the willows and five red hands. You'll never see us again. see us again stuff inside kiddo 
You don't want to lose that. Calm is so pretty. Aww. That was so sad. Alright, let's see what we can see inside the house. I can't go to Mantroid's planet without finishing my costume. Okay. Well, we can't finish our costume until we have paint, which I imagine must be in the garage. Oh, heck no. There better not be some critter in here. No rats. No raccoons. No thank you. What, what do you mean a combination lock? What kind of code would he use? Well, that obviously isn't it. Yes! That is, though. All right. Firecrackers! Hello! Take. Now I'm ready to rock. Sorry, Dad. I have a feeling I know what this is for. All right. Oh, boy. Local woman killed in hit and run. Police are seeking witnesses to a fatal hit and run that occurred on December 16th, 2014. At 7.15 p.m. Tuesday night on Mantle Street and Asteroid Drive, the victim, identified as Emily Erickson, 28, of Beaver Creek, Oregon, was apparently walking from her stranded car when she was struck head-on by an unidentified speeding vehicle. She is survived by a husband and son who were not on the scene at the time. Captain Anderson says that the toll cameras may hold Important clues. We're treating this as a case of vehicular homicide. Anybody with information regarding the incident should call the anonymous Beaver Creek Police hotline at 555 Capture. This is a mystery because this clearly, they want to pull the traffic cams, but then they can't or they, they won't. So what this reads to me is a cover-up. They don't want to pull the traffic cam footage, even though they clearly said the traffic cam footage is something we should pull for this investigation. And the fact that the dad gets so angry about it and the fact that he has to call a private investigator, that all speaks like a cover-up to me. Something fishy this way comes. I know dad spent a lot of money on the funeral. <sighs> oh. In loving memory of Emily Erickson, Emily Erickson, 28, beloved wife, mother, and daughter, departed our world far too soon on December 16th, 2014 in Beaver Creek, Oregon. Emily was born in Eugene, Oregon on January 25th, 1986 to Peter and Kristen Wyatt, a passionate artist since kindergarten. She was near the top of her class at Eugene High School, winning various local art competitions and a prized scholarship to the prestigious Blackwell Academy in Arcadia Bay, Oregon. Interesting. After graduation, she went back to Eugene and married her college sweetheart, Charles Erickson, on May 1st, 2006. Emily and Charles moved to Beaver Creek, Oregon in 2007, where she later began a rewarding career teaching kindergarten and inspiring young people in the arts. Emily and Charles, Charles were also blessed with a wonderful son, Chris, born on February 8th, 2007. Emily's honest and humorous online comic strips about her family life brought her humble recognition. She is survived by her husband, Charles, their son, Chris, and her parents, Peter and Kristen. Funeral services are planned for 12 p.m. December 20th at Eugene Willow Hill Cemetery with a reception to follow. Friends and family are welcome and encouraged to pay their last respects. So I find that super interesting. And I have a few dates I'm going to jot down. 
just in case they may be used as pins. They might not be, but we're going to give it a shot anyway. May 1st. Oh, they got married on May Day. And his birthday is February 8th, 2007. All right. So we jotted down some dates. Um, Grandma and Grandpa were so nice. I wish we saw them more. Dear Charles, thank you for your lovely note and flowers for Kristen's birthday. They always mean more coming from you. We miss you and would love to see how Chris is growing. Like you, we also still miss Emily every day, every hour and minute. And we know that grief is a part of your life, so we always know that we think of you often. We're always here for you like we like you were there for us forever. Please stay in touch and let's make plans to meet soon. Your family and always in our hearts and prayers. Love, Peter. That is so sad. I still hear that critter walking around. Can't deal. Ah, there's our spray paint. Now I can color Captain Spirit just like my drawing. Here we go. Use. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed with this. Oh my gosh, that was amazing. Did that not remind you of Sailor Moon when she's like yes, doing her like magical girl rescue. transformation? And it's time to visit Mantroid's home yes. planet for a change. I love it. I love it so much. That was so good. All right, we are complete. Our outfit is finished. This is where mom went to school before we came here. Dear Mrs. Emily Erickson, as principal of Blackwell Academy, the same principal? As principal of Blackwell Academy, oh, this is in 2011, I wanted to personally reach out and thank you for your continued support of our art program to our prestigious school. We love displaying your work along with the long list of other alumni. We have all fond memories of you here. So thank you for thinking of us and we hope you'll come visit campus soon to see how your contribution keeps our dream alive. So this is how the stories are connected, but not the same story. Mom didn't go to art school because of me, but she was already an amazing artist. Dear Emily, we received your letter of withdrawal and resignation and first wanted to congratulate you on your forthcoming child. While we are truly happy for you and your family, we are also selfishly sorry to lose one of our most promising students and artists. Your unique and witty illustrations have been well received on campus and in the school paper, so we expect to see more of your work with us and others. Hopefully when you're ready, you'll consider coming back to Eugene State to finish your art degree and further inspire us. If you have any questions, contact us, contact us anytime. Oh wow, I remember when mom drew that. And dad couldn't stop laughing. Step one, good night. Good night, handsome. Step two, lady steals blanket. Step three, man freezes. Step four, honey, you got a cold again. I told you to eat more fruits. <laughs> I don't get this one. I'm too young. Hin, hin, who, hin, wah. Isn't it your turn, Mr. Officer? <laughs> What's up, buddy? <laughs> this is about parents having some hanky-panky time and the baby crying. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Mom and Dad always talked about how they met at school. 
Neighborhood Watch, The Jock and the Artist. Never judge two books by their covers is the motto of this odd couple from Eugene, each of whom is making local waves in their respective fields and why we're showcasing them in this week's Neighborhood Watch. Emily Watt is a cartoonist whose witty work about her strange life has been featured in print and the web, even in the pages of this paper. She hates all sports by her own claims, yet is engaged to Charles Erickson, a local basketball star who some say is headed to the Oregon Ducks. Ironically, they met at the library and found true love among the book stacks while helping each other study for their torturous finals. I'm math and she She's art, says a shy, blessing Charles, clearly a man in love, which are actually the same thing from opposite sides, adds Emily with a warm smile, taking her new fiancé's hand. It was weird having my mom as my kindergarten teacher, but fun. Aww. My first picture it looks so tiny and weird. Aww. Maybe I'm an alien baby. The ultrasound. All right, is that all there is to do here? We looked in the old box, we looked high, we looked low. Oh, oh. Dad never threw away mom's hiking boots. Good. All right, I don't want to get attacked by this creepy crawly as I'm trying to leave. Oh, what was the point of all that creepy crawly noise? All right, our outfit's complete. So now we can blow up the snowmancer and we can hop in our spaceship. And that's looking good for our objective so far. I got to I got to play this hot dog man game. Blow yeah, him up. Blow battle, him up. Captain Spirit. Blow him up. Oh, yeah. Yes. So cool. Good Your job, us. Cruise the whole city. We blew him up. All right. I like it. Until Captain Spirit melted him. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Jerks. Like people don't drink in bars around here. Does that say wino? That's a weird thing to graffiti. Alright, I think we are going to go to spaceship first. And then we'll go inside. We'll try the pins for hot dog man game. Here I come, man -troid. And then we'll see. Come on, let's get going. This is Captain Spirit. You copy. Are you there, Sky Pirate? Captain Spirit, I read you loud and clear. Are you sure you want to go on this dangerous mission? Don't worry about me. Man -troid is the one in danger. Gotta do a quick system check first. Instrument panel, check. Force field, check. Proton missiles, check. Skate pod, check. Windshield wipers, check. Everything looks good. Start the launch. We're going faster than light speed. What's that ahead? Oh no! Meteor shower! Turn on the force field! Too late! Emergency! SOS! Crash landing! Ah! I wonder how many ships Mantroid has crashed on this planet. Never mind. I landed safe. Time to explore! The planet is so dark, and the sky is so red, like blood. No wonder man Troyd lives here.
But how could anyone live here? It's kind of sad and lonely. We get to explore. What's that sound? Something is coming. Or somebody. Come to my planet. Man Troy, show yourself, you coward. The tension is building. I can feel it. Maybe it's all your fault. <laughs> what? This time, you won't get away from me. <laughs> I don't have to get away because I'm me instead of hiding. No, I don't want this to be what I think it is. You will pay oh, for what you did, Mantroid. I swear. That is real intense, my friends. So, for those of you who didn't quite get what that was about, that was the corner of Asteroid and Mantle, which was where his mom got hit and died. Uh, so, that to me read as a... representation the the villain is a representation of this child's grief and sometimes it wins but you gotta fight it anyway that's pretty intense Let's look at some hot dog man to cheer up. Hopefully uh, I have the right pin here. All right, 
right, so we're gonna give Oh, get out of here. I have to enter more than four digits? Why am I thinking it's just four digits? Ugh. Nope. Oh my gosh. No, this could be anything. Oh, come on. Checking my notes here based on the article that I read. Oh my god. None of those. Okay. What about... Okay. We know it's not 2007. I just want to play Hot Dog Man game. Mustard game. Mustard Party 2. Oh, I want to know what it is so badly. What is that dang pin? That was every single important date. From the garage. His birthday, her birthday, their marriage day, marriage day. <sighs> oh man, this is going to be tough. Eleven months in two thousand eight. Two years. Eleven. Twenty fourteen. There must be something that indicates what this dang pin code is. Mm. Dad never told me he had a new Not that. friend. Console, basketball. About in here. Wow. Dad had that's so we moved be dad got fired no that's when he started working for the railroad oh none of this what about over here dad was so angry at the police i remember dad Jeez. Dad wrote a lot of letters. Oh, man. I don't know if I'm going to get this. Ah, that's so tough. What else could it be? His own birthday? His phone number? Do I have to go back to the garage? I'm challenged here. I don't know. I thought for sure I had this. But what else could it even be based on? Stat book, 2005. I mean, was there a date of the championship? Game? If I could go back and date it. so different in this basketball outfit. Dad never Just smiles says like that 2005. Anymore. He doesn't have a diary. 
I wonder if I wake him up if I could ask him, but I'm also really afraid if I wake him up, then the plot will notebook. move forward. We can't look in the stat notebook. There were no stats on the laptop. Hmm, let's check this out. Cities of the Pain. Ooh, that looks scary. I should read that. The Nightshade Diaries by Tiffany Krog. I wonder why Dad never hangs out with Nick anymore. Nick? Nick ever been mentioned? I wish I could have gone on a hike with Mom. Secret Hiking Trails of Oregon. This has to be Mom's. She liked art. Um, hello. A what now? What? <laughs> Is that? Is that what I think that is? That's unacceptable! That makes me so uncomfortable! I don't even want to look at it! I feel gross looking at it! I don't know what the code is, guys. I tried everything. I thought I tried everything. I guess I could go back to the garage one more time. I've been in there. Let's go to my room. One more. No, there's nothing that I know of that's in there. I can't believe that maybe something would have been in the maze. Oh, man. I don't know. I don't know what it is, guys. All right, here we go. The code is 4298. I'm. Three, two, oh my gosh, this is so long. Nine, four. This is, uh, <laughs> if you want to know, this is the T9 nu numerical translation for Haut Daug. H A W T D A W G. I had to ask the stream. A lot of them had to look it up. I think this puzzle is dumb, but that's just the way it is. Yes, I can hack any system. <gasps> We're in! Let's start. Mini game, mini game. Press to mustard. Ah, no. Where is this mustard coming out of? We know where it's coming out of because we saw the comic. Oh, I'm not good at these kinds of games. Excuse me, Atari, you're distracting me here. No. I gotta play again. Give me another chance. All right. Do I get more points for squirting on the grill? Now I'm on fire. Now I'm on fire. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm on fire. Squirt that must, yeah, no! The same place! Oh man, oh man, I gotta go again. Here we go, okay, okay, I'm in this, I'm in this, I'm excited, here we go. Squirting that mustard. This is so quirky, it's got so much personality, I'm just obsessed. I love it. All right. That was the same spot as last time. All right, going again. Okay, this, this time I mean business. I mean business. Here we go. Press to mustard. We're gonna mustard our hearts out, friends. Yep, I'm getting my practice in. You feel the finesse in this round? It's okay, I missed one. I'm not gonna let it phase me. 
Yeah. Oh, that's the way I like it. Squirt on that turkey. Oh, man. That just sounds awful. No! I got distracted by my word usage. Oh, man. We're gonna go again. Here we go. I, I This is the one. I can feel it. I just really enjoy it. I really don't enjoy games like this. I really don't. <laughs> Yeah! Look at all those points! No, I get lost there every time on the come down! Oh, come on! This is... This now I'm winning. But now is the time. Part of this is just memorizing the patterns. And just anticipating them. Like, now I gotta, like, lower myself... For this other lower... I'm not gonna make it! Oh, I wasn't gonna make that mustard. See, you gotta make a choice. Which mustard do you go with? Alright, here we go. Here we go. Are we going faster? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh! Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. Oh no! There's too many turkeys! I can't deal! Oh man, oh man, here I go! Oh boy! Oh! I'm feeling stressed! I'm feeling- is it going faster? I feel like it is! Oh no, oh no! It's me! I'm the big boss! Oh! Ah! No! <laughs> New high score! That's all I cared about. That was fun. Because I was not going to get any farther than that. Let's make it very clear. Alright, objective complete. Look at all these objectives. Check, 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 check a roo, check a rooney, check a do. Alright. Let's wake dad up. Let's get myself a Christmas tree! I've earned it. Wake up. Dad, you, you sleeping? You drank the whole bottle of whiskey. Hey, wake up. Dad, come on. Huh? What? Who's there? Who's that? Dad, it, it's just me, Chris. Whoa, whoa. Hold on, buddy, okay? Jesus. Uh. Uh. Fuck! Dad, are you okay? Do I look okay? No, I tripped. Can't even watch one goddamn game. Uh. Fuck! Uh. That's just great. Oh, I think I sprained my foot. Shit. Chris. Why did you wake me up? You you told me to wake you up. I thought I thought you said the pine tree. <sighs> the pine tree? I can't even walk in my own house, man. You should be careful when you're you know, when you wake up. Don't be a smart ass, Chris. I'm not in the mood right now. Yeah, Dad. Okay. Jesus Christ, who is that? Go answer. If it's some salesperson or some church group, you just close the door on them. It's nobody's business. This is our castle, and it's our family. Right? Right. Oh, man, that's a freaking tragedy. Oh my, look at you. What kind of costume is that? I'm Captain Spirit. Of course you are. We need all the superheroes we can get. And how are you doing, Chris? Good, Mrs. Reynolds. Just... just... Just?
just, you know, cleaning up the house and stuff. On a beautiful Saturday like this, you should be playing instead. Ain't that the truth. I even saw you clearing the snow out of the alley, so I hope you don't work all day. Well, it's laundry day. Dad's watching the game, so... That explains all the beer cans. Actually, I, I was going for a nice walk, but it sounded like the 4th of July over here. Is everything okay? Guilty! Yeah, of course. We didn't hear a noise. Are you sure? Lordy, I thought, I don't know, but it was loud, and there's no other houses around. You probably heard me and my dad watching the game. He kind of go crazy, so. Hmm. You're not the only one. I must be hearing things. I hope you have something else planned for today. Oh, yeah. Me and my dad are going to go buy a real pine Christmas tree. Oh, that sounds like fun. Stephen and I better get one so we can start decorating. Oh, I love this time of year. I Me like too. her. And Dad said we could get the best Christmas tree on the lot. You certainly deserve the best Christmas tree. And if you need any extra decorations, we have a surplus. Ooh, that would be awesome. Well, I'm glad to see you're taking care of your father. Of course. We're both on the same team. You're a good son, Chris. Oh, boy. Listen, Chris, I'm only steps away from your house. If you ever feel scared, you can come visit us anytime, day or night. Understand? We here for you. Okay. Sure. Thanks. Thanks, Claire. I promise I'll see you later. So what did that nosy bitch want? N nothing. Oh, nothing, huh? I was listening. I heard it all. You could have gotten rid of her. I tried. Man, I bet you want to tell her what a shitty dad you have. Huh? No, she just wanted to say hi. I didn't say anything, Dad. I swear. Dad, please believe me. Jesus, stop that whining. You're not a baby anymore. Oh, boo-hoo, Daddy. Believe me. Grow up. But I... And just... Just like your mom. Every time I look at you, I tell me you talk. Stop it. I, just, just, I see your face. Why? And if it wasn't for you, she would have never taken the car that day. Never. Oh, hey, Chris, look, hey, I didn't mean that, buddy. Yes! Yes, you did! No, listen, Chris! Oh my god.
that is the end of the awesome adventures of Captain Spirit. What did you think? I cannot wait to hear your opinions. Please leave them in the comments below so that we can talk about it together. I can't wait to get my response fingers going. Oh man, so <laughs> that just was so weird. But you know what? I'm gonna stick with it because I know you're not here because you think I'm normal. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. Share it with all your friends so they can enjoy it too. And of course, don't forget if you want to subscribe to Strange Rebel Gaming so you don't miss the next video. That's all. I love you guys. Bye!